In my opinion, one of the best sneakers to drop in recent time, the New Balance 2002R Refined Future in Rain Cloud. It originally dropped in August 2021, accompanied by two additional colorways, Sea Salt and Phantom. I absolutely intend to still add Sea Salt, which is more of a cream colorway in the 2002R. The expected high quality trifecta of mesh, suede, leather, but also a pop of 3M completes the upper of the shoe itself. Now, it has this very tasteful deconstructed look. Yu Wu was very intentional on it not looking sloppy. And in terms of the cushioning, we get that amazing support from Absorb when it comes to New Balance, but you also have this energy outsole that really adds a lot. And the winner of the $75 gift card goes to TJ Grayton, I really just humbly appreciate you, all of the support across any platform, but also what you add to the conversation here on YouTube for videos and whatever discussion uh, may be at hand. But I really appreciate also in your comment for the vote in the New Balance pack that you're really looking forward to the investment videos in that series, because quite honestly, I understand and I grasp that it's off the beaten path. It's not in relation to a hyped up shoe, a brand new release, a designer a lot of us are maybe talking about within the industry. So it means that it's paid a lot less attention to, but I also think that it can add the most value. I really hope that young people are paying attention to that. I mean, I wish this was stuff that we covered in school. No one really drives home the importance of investing early, but also consistently. And it doesn't have to be something that is scary or a monumental, you know, amount of, of money or something that like is very daunting for you to grasp that, hey, I don't know that I can do this every single month. Like I'm doing it small and I'm doing it on purpose and intentionally. So thank you, TJ, for pointing that out, showing your support there. Just go ahead and hit me up on Twitter, on Instagram, doesn't matter. I'll make sure to get that over to you. So hopefully you can treat yourself this holiday season. In terms of it being a pair you can wear on foot anytime, anywhere outside of bad weather with rain and snow. Yes, this is it. I love the gray tones all over. Now let's talk comfort. The 2002R Refined Future delivers. It is beyond comfortable. I definitely give it that nine, nine and a half out of 10. I went true to size, so I'm wearing a six and yes, I'm wearing socks also. I've gone true to size with every 2002R for a perfect fit. All right, everybody, it's your girl TJ back. Another video on Talks with TJ. And that's right, we're at the end of the road in terms of the resale pickup you voted on in 2022. So I really appreciate you guys, as always, for engaging, participating, and just supporting my platform throughout the entire year. And there will be a shift. So instead of having this short term goal for future me, it will instead uh, be a long term goal for future me. And I think that's really smart just to evolve and mature the discipline you may have for yourself and achieving X and seeing if you can stretch that, stretch that to Y. And that's exactly what will happen. So instead of putting money aside for a pair you'll vote on instead, I'll just dollar cost average that into my Roth IRA, investing in the S&P 500 and just let that build tax-free over time. So if you're on your own financial journey heading into 2023, I certainly hope you are and that you have some goals in mind and that you have real smart goals and they're actionable steps that you can take to achieve that. So it is something Something that stays in the forefront of your mind. It doesn't seem too daunting. It doesn't overwhelm you, but it keeps you focused. It keeps you dedicated throughout 2023. But with all that being said, let's just get to how I choose to style this pair. Now, again, it's rain cloud. You can do a number of different things. It's a neutral pair. Just have fun with it. Honestly, dress it up, dress it down. I am dressed down in this video for all three looks. And no, I did not wear essentials for this. For the first look, if you guys actually think back, I had the beanie and the tee on for the 5740 rain cloud, except those fit a little too snug. So I gifted those to mom. So still rocking the beanie and shirt combo. I went with distressed black pants by H&M or distressed black denim, I should say, to go along with that deconstructed feel for the 2002 R Refined Future and my staple, my favorite, wool overcoat also from h&m in the men's department i'm pretty sure those are in stock so shop around maybe find a wool coat to fit any and every look this season now every look here is relaxed and comfortable so if you guys also remember 
that extensive New Balance apparel video. Shout out to them for outfitting me with some very comfortable items here. So I'm wearing a men's hoodie in a size medium in this amazing green and white colorway. The Made in the USA sweat in that off-white colorway, really light heather, and then just rocking the same white tee and my lids fitted. Okay, I'm very biased, my favorite outfit of the three. So my Valiant Pursuit dad hat in red and black. The awesome, really need another one of these. Andre 3000 in Supreme T, a basic bomber jacket in olive green and American Eagle distressed overalls in white. Yes, I am channeling Andre's look and vibe with my own fit. So I guess it's like fit inception going on right here, but it's absolutely one of my favorite fits. It might be one of my favorite fits I've rocked all year in 2022. And why not break this out for the 2002R rain cloud? Now, as I said, during the quick unboxing of this specific pair, you woo, I I'm sorry that we've all assumed it was protection pack from the start but it's not, and I've tried to continue to reiterate that here on the channel. So if it comes to a 2002R and it's a refined future pair, you guys should know by now, I will make sure that I'm correctly uh, stating what it is, and that is refined future. The goal is to refine the future, and it's really interesting because it's supposed to be about a pair of New Balances that you wear so much, they are breaking down, they're almost tearing apart at the seams, but you don't wanna let them go because they're your favorite. And when I think about like myself, and how I care for my shoes or the fact that like I work from home so it's not like I'm out in my shoes every single day necessarily on the street my pairs never get to that place but that's not to say that I don't want to keep so many of them around until they are falling apart and I'm a big fan and proponent of wear your shoes okay like I will champion that all the time wear your shoes that's what they're meant for so you will continue to do amazing things at New Balance I think a lot of us are tuned in to whatever you guys put out in 20 2023 whether it's in-house or with uh an outside designer you guys continue to deliver with the value for what we're able to get for the price point and that is greatly appreciated so the 1906 i don't know if the technical name should be protection pack for that i really don't i just know that it follows along those same lines and so if that is within yu woo's wheelhouse as well and he's designed that uh it would make sense of why i'm really drawn to it and why i want that so you may see a 1906 hit the channel in 2023 we'll see it is just that much darker charcoal gray and i really appreciate it and again from the original uh three colorways that came out you had uh sea salt i believe and then you have this pair and then you also have the black pair so for me i really want sea salt as well so just know that that may uh, make its way to the channel in my collection and hopefully you're still tuned in just know that i appreciate you especially when you're focusing or showing love to the content like tj said if it's related to personal finance that's not in relation to just a shoe it really like trust me means a lot i appreciate you guys tuning into that content and as always act your age not your shoe size peace